Um, all right, so I already got your name and first and last name. Um, so we just wanted to talk to you today um, about, so you were rearrested for, was it violation of probation? Uh, I was rearrested for violating probation for missing three classes of my psych doctor, which is an outpatient. Okay. Um, so you're waiting to be, you have to go back to Miami-Dade County now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm waiting to be extended back to Miami-Dade County, my hometown, mm -hmm. where, where I was from. Okay, but do you have relatives here? We saw a Gulfport address, or you have family here or something? Huh? You, we saw a golf court address on your... Yeah, that's my sister, but I don't want nobody going to my sister's house okay. and bothering her or nothing like that. Okay. All right, so just talk to us. Tell us your story. Um, you know, why did you... Why? What happened with you missing your your classes? Well, the reason I miss my classes is because my mom is 70 years old and she has multiple sclerosis, so... I really don't work and my dad is 70 years old so it's hard for me to get money to pay for the classes and get a Uber to over there. So it's just I didn't have a ride or money at the time. Yeah. So I had to miss two classes and that's the reason why I'm here. Are you going to try to explain that to them when you get back to Miami Days? Yeah, like I wasn't on the run. I wanted to go see my probation officer like a monthly visit and I didn't know I had a warrant for my arrest so when I went to go see him he locked me up. So talk to me a little bit about, um, I mean, obviously, we, your mugshot is out again. Um, have you put more tattoos on your face okay. since, since the, last the, year? The, the, yeah. The mugshot, man, yeah, I, I got all this done, all that. Yeah, I got a lot more done on my face. My whole face is completely tattooed. Yeah. On my forehead, it's all face mask, glasses, white, everything. So talk to us a little bit about, I mean, obviously the mugshot is out again. People call you the Florida Joker. Um, yeah. I guess that's what you're known for. Uh, how do you feel yeah, about I feel, that? I mean, I feel good about it because um, I make a lot of money off of it through Instagram doing promotions and stuff because I got over 122,000 followers and plus World Star Hip Hop. The Instagram page that has 20 million followers um, sponsors me and follows me and repost my stuff on their page a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna ask I'm just gonna ask the question everybody is thinking, why the Joker? Why the Joker? Cause uh, it all started with a teardrop in the crowd. I got my face, my best friend Adrian Silvera Lopez got murdered up in Orlando in two thousand fourteen and the case is still unsolved and I was like my best friend slash brother and that's how I started and then I got engaged with a woman in Miami and she did me wrong and dirty to kill me and stuff like that so I got attacked with a machete. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it on my finger. Oh I see it okay. So it's like it's like a rose, you know, it's like reborn re death type of stuff. That old, that old Lawrence you saw with the plain face, he's dead. This is a new Lawrence slash Joker. You know I'm a new person. So um because a lot of people would say that I mean you you know you said you get a lot of publicity off the face, off your the Joker. Um, a lot I, of people I would, get a lot of hate and a lot of love. It comes with both. What, I mean, obviously, what do the haters say? A lot of haters talk about, oh, you're a crackhead, you're a meth stuff like that. Because my art, you know, just art expression. So it's your reflection of art. Yeah. So I, I was watching some of the previous stories um, out of Miami-Dade County. Um, and I think what the original arrest was allegedly for what having a uh, waving, allegedly waving a gun. Kind of talk to me a little bit about I, that. I was walking my dog at the time, and I got pulled over by a cop. That that, that was the incident that happened. I wasn't waving no gun at the time because I was a really busy intersection. I was waving a gun, especially in Miami. Miami, them cops are trigger happy to shoot you for any freaking reason they want to. So no, I was not waving a gun. There's no proof that I was waving a gun. Do you think do you think people are scared of you? I mean, just I'm not talking about you personally, like your personality, but I'm talking about when they see you, do you think it kinda offsets them, intimidates them? A few people, yeah, they are scared of me when they first see me, but when they get to know me, I'm not a bad guy, just don't get just don't cross me the wrong way and I won't be bad like everyone else. I'm not here to hurt no one. Yeah. I'm just here to express myself, make an honest living with my tattoos and try to be a tattoo.
last two months, I'm trying to be in movies. I've been working on a documentary with a film crew from New York for the last year. They're supposed to come back the third week of August to wrap it up. It's going to be played in film festivals and all that. Like, I'm making a lot of power moves. I'm making a lot of moves. Has anyone ever came to you and talked about um, doing any Joker roles? Not yet. No. I need to a, a act close to like acting school. I mean, I can act like the Joker, but I would like to go to acting school and perfect it more. Yeah. Um, so, you said the old, you said Lawrence, like the old Lawrence is gone. Well, why yeah. let, why let go of him? Huh? Why, why let go of Lawrence? Why let go of the old Lawrence? The old Lawrence, mm, he was too much care in the 90s and he got taken advantage of, so now I'm the Joker, like, I'm still nice and stuff, but if you cross me, this is gonna be the last thing you wanna do is cross me, because you're gonna feel the pain that I have felt my whole life. Yeah. You treat me with respect, I treat you with respect. Like I tell the CEOs, like I tell the nurse, I'm talking about no bitch, motherfucker, and all that shit, because then you're going to hear shit from me. You treat me with respect, I treat you with respect. It goes both ways. Yeah. Just don't trust me off my face. What, um, so you said the old Lawrence just wouldn't, I mean, he wouldn't have just said the same thing as what you're saying, or, because like now that you're the Joker, you just pretty much say, just don't cross me, but if it's, if, if Lawrence, the old Lawrence, was still here, I mean, wouldn't he have just said, hey, just don't, I don't appreciate you talking to me like that? Or if that's, that's not how the old I'm Lawrence is. Most likely, yeah. yeah. I mean, I just want to jab you in the face, because I, I do have a boxing background, he's a boxer five years. Mm-hmm. So I know how to box, I know how to fight, I know how to hold my own. Mm-hmm. So, uh, the last time, um, the last time you did an interview in Miami Dade, you were talking, the reporters were asking you how they were treating you. Um, over in Miami Dade County, how are you being treated over here? Treating me like a celebrity too. They treat me good. No, no one has treated me bad yet. Mm-hmm. The CEOs are really nice, really respectful. What's the one message like you would want to get out to people? Do you have one thing to say to people? I mean, because obviously, you know, we put your mugshot out there. People see you. They see you like just one way, just from looking at you. But without talking to you or knowing you, what's the one thing well, you would want people to really know about you? I mean, I wish people would actually sit down and get to know me, and not just look at the book of the cover and like actually flip some pages over and actually sit down and get to know me. And actually, see, I'm. A, Actually, I'm a nice, humble person with a big heart. I feed the homeless every week in downtown St. Pete. I always do that. Me and my friends, we always feed the homeless. We give them clothes. Like last week, we went to the homeless shelter. We bought like 10 boxes of Little Caesars pizza. You can see that on my Instagram. That's all on my Instagram. Everything I do, getting back to the homeless is on my Instagram. I always give back to the homeless. That's something I like to do from the bottom of my heart. Because I like to see the smile on their face. Do, you, do we have permission? We have permission to look at your Instagram and use any pictures there, or some of the some of those pictures you were talking about just now about feeding the homeless and stuff. I mean, my Instagram should still be running. It's not. A, I don't think it's on private. I think it's on public. But oh, I'll thought, talk to my manager. Yeah, I thought to ask I'll permission. Talk to my, I'll talk to my manager. Yeah, you have permission for me to okay. use it. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, what else? So. What else would you want people to know? Because it sounds like to me you're not really here to be in trouble. Um, no, I'm not here to be in trouble. I've been on probation for nine months. I had like 13 months left. I was doing good for nine months. I just missed two classes, and the psych doctor kicked me out because of the money. Yeah. Just about the money. Kicked me out because of the money. So if you had the money or if you had the opportunity to go back to the psych classes, you would yeah. you would be going. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, number one, I was only supposed to go part of the fleet. I was only supposed to go to see him like three or four times. And then they switched up saying I had to see him multiple, more, more multiple, multiple times. So they lied to me on my part. Plus, he was threatening my sick mother. Like he was calling my mom that's 70 years old, that has multiple sclerosis, saying, oh, you got to pay this much amount of money, this amount of much money, or I'm going to violate your son. I got text messages on my phone that says that. Okay. Okay. So I'm sh- like I said, I'm sure you're gonna once Miami Day comes and gets you, you're oh, gonna. Oh, when I go, when I go, when I go to Miami, I, I got my lawyer. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight this case because I'm not going to prison. I'm not going to jail for any any longer. I don't feel like I did nothing wrong. I didn't get caught in the streets. I wasn't on the run. I knew I had a court date. The court date never come, so I wanted to go see.
see my PO, do that's how my PO, he put the handcuffs on me. I didn't resist arrest or nothing. I'm really calm with everything. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy at the day. Do you, at, well, speaking of at the end of the day, do you want people to refer to you as the, the Florida Joker or like, do you, does that? Yeah, I, I, I want them to refer to me as the Florida Joker because I'm trying to be a tattoo model as a Joker's image, you know, for cosplay, for the costumes and stuff like that because it makes money. You know how you go on Amazon, you look up, you look up the Joker costume, you see some weird guy playing the Joker in the costume. I look more like the Joker, so they should pay me to model as a Joker. Okay, so you're so when your mugshot goes out there, you know, with your look and everything, you're totally fine with that. Yeah, of course I'm fine with that. I'm trying to be a tattoo model. I'm trying to be an actor. I'm, trying, I'm in the entertainment business. I do funny videos. I do skits. That's what I do. Like, I got a skit of me fighting Batman. My, one of my friends is dressed up as Batman. Uh -huh. He's an Instagram comedian. Oh, okay. And actually, I got fights. So what are your friends dressed as a Batman? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's one of my friends, yeah. He has like 90 something thousand followers. Um, we, did, we, did like, we did like a little fight skit video. We did, like, we did like a thousand views on live, and we got like over 100,000 views on my Instagram mm -hmm. video. Well, why not go to Hollywood if that's what you want? Um, I'm going to, but right now I'm on probation mm -hmm. in Florida for two years. So as soon as I'm done with probation, I'm going to New York. Cause that's where the big cities are. And if in New York, I want to travel all over the UK because they'll set my look more. I'm trying to make money. You know, I'm trying to make money to take care of my mom before she dies. Like I said, my mom is 70 years old. She had me when she was 38. We migrated. She migrated from Peru to New York. And then from New York, we came to Miami because she has multiple sclerosis. The COVID is not good for her disease. Yeah. She was a single mother of five. The last three, four years, the, the most multiple sclerosis I meant progressive. She can't walk no more, really. She has a walker. She's on, like, her hospital bed at her house in Miami. Mm. So I'm trying to be strong for her. Because yeah. I'm her baby. So how, she, how is she doing? I mean, she's doing all right, but the disease, there's no cure for that disease. She could die any moment. She has high blood pressure. She has, she has like, three or four heart attacks. So if, if my mom watches this, I love you, Roxana Sullivan, my mama. I love my family, my brothers and sisters. Yeah. I bet your mom still sees you as her baby. Of course, I talk to her every day. Yeah. Well, I hope she gets better. I hope she feels better and everything. And I hope, um, you know, she she gets to a place where she's comfortable. So I I do hope that your mom gets better. Um, Thank you. Well, uh, I mean, in, unless there's anything else, you know, you want to say, I just wanted to, you know, sit down and talk with yeah. you about... Okay. I like yeah, I wanna say one more thing. Yeah, sure. I wish the whole I wish the whole world didn't judge people with face tattoos because people with face tattoos are actually the nicest people in the world, bro. Like y'all need to give us more chances. Not just me, other people with face tattoos. Because people look they degrade us, they look down on us like we're druggies and all that. I don't do drugs. All I do is smoke weed and drink liquor. I don't smoke crack, I don't shoot heroin, I don't smoke meth, I don't do none of that shit. I smoke weed I know weed ain't legal here, but it's legal in the fucking states. And all I do is drink. That's all I do. So you think people automatically, you know, judge you and don't give you a chance, chance at first? Yes. Yes, they do. They do. And I, I, I really don't like that. Because they don't know me. And they don't know my lifestyle. They think that I just did this for class. I did this because I wanted to kill myself before when my fiance left me and killed our unborn child and all this other fuck shit. All this that I'm telling you is... I already recorded my documentaries that I'm working on. This going to be dropping by the end of next year. It's supposed to be dropping this year, but I don't know why I'm going to be able to film it because my film crew is not going to be able to come anytime soon, most likely. Okay. Okay, so when and, you... Go and, ahead. Go ahead. And my documentaries, they got funded by a film company in Miami. It's going to be played in film festivals all over the world. So you, did that already happen or that's going to happen? I've been working on that for a year already. They just need to come back one more time to wrap it up. But I already got funded by a company, and the company is paying for me to redo my whole face again because I'm going to add more. I'm going to add blood around my neck. Like, my neck got cut and blood dripping everywhere. I'm going to retouch the eyes and just make it look way crazier. So you're going to re so you're gonna do redo the whole yeah. Joker look? The whole face and the neck cut, blood dripping, like, super, super crazy. You think this looks crazy? This is nothing. 
so so we should get ready for a different look uh to, to be revealed soon is what you're telling me not soon well, but maybe the one with yeah and maybe yeah. you know later on but you're, you're going to redo the whole face okay kind of well who's your which one is your favorite joker character just out of curiosity i got two the original i mean not the original Heath Ledger. i mean no jack nicholson and then Heath Ledger. okay okay why those two but, uh i like jack nicholson because he, he's crazy but like in a funny in a funny comedian side mm -hmm. and Heath Ledger, he's just a freaking savage and i just i just like the the role he played in the movie so the latest Joker, you're really not. That's really not who. Nah. You, okay, because nah, a lot of people would. Don't like you don't like that one because a lot of people would compare nah. that your look to him more than Heath Ledger. No, 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 they crazy. <laughs> the, the other Joker that's had a plain white face, he didn't have his whole face tattered. He didn't have a smile. Yeah. He didn't have the black eyes. Okay. Well, um, unless there's anything else you want to say or add or, you know, yeah, okay. just wanted to kind of... This, this is going to be played on a news station? Yeah, so I'm with the NBC affiliate, um, NBC, um, Channel 8 here, mm -hmm. so I don't know, if, I mean, it'll be online after. So he talked to your family, um, your your management, um, whoever in South Florida. This is where it'll be at. But I think it, it's going to go out in the feeds anyway, because um, a lot of people okay. are interested to hear from you and just your thoughts and what you're thinking. So I think this will go out. Uh, I think. Well, I mean, does that surprise you? I mean, you have to know that a lot of people are like, I want to know what's in this guy's head. I didn't do nothing wrong. I wasn't on the I wasn't on the run. They ain't catch me in the streets with, with drugs. I didn't fight nobody. I just missed like two dates of my of the psych doc and that's it. Well, I mean, but does it surprise you that a lot of people want to know what's in your head? Yeah, I do, but a lot of people they like to talk shit about me on the internet, which does not bother me because a a lot of people kill themselves over bullying. That's that's not me. I use that as strength. Okay. All right. I'm against bullying us. So, I don't like people that bully other people on the internet. But I hate that. Okay. Just because my teeth are, they said my teeth are fucked up, accusing me of being a method. That's just me of pure poor hygiene of my of myself. But I'm about to fix my teeth though in Miami. Once I have four thousand dollars, I'm gonna have a straight, pretty smile. So once so once you get back to Miami, I mean, I I guess you'll still be on back on your probation and everything. And then what's next yeah. after that? Like, because I'm assuming you'll probably get out. What's next after that? Finishing up my documentary and having that celebrity boxing match against Batman. Okay. okay. I got a lot. I got a lot of work. So new songs, new music videos. I got a lot of projects. I continue feeding the homeless. My foundation. Give a hand, give a hug foundation. What's the name of it? Give a I have a foundation called Give Give a Hand, Give a Hug. Okay. It, and I can look that up online or on your Instagram? No, I haven't made it, but that's the foundation that I'm making. Okay, okay. All right. All right, well, I appreciate you giving me a couple minutes uh, of your time to talk to us today. Um, again, this will be up online at WFLA.com after, and then it'll air sometime during the day today. All right, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye.